In this video, we'll be discussing about deep armor arch. We'll discuss the arteries which are forming deep armor arch and the relations of deep armor arch. The branches from this arch, and we'll draw the diagram. And at last, we'll discuss a few MCQs from this topic. And first, discuss the deep armor arch. We know that so the radial artery before leaving the forearm it gives out a superficial palmar arch but the main radial artery it passes into the anatomical snub box like this and after reaching the anatomical snub box it pierces the first dorsal endosia and reaches the and reaches the palm it reaches the palm and gives out two branches means of pollicis and radialis indices and the main branch continues the main branch main artery continues as a deep palmar arch so main artery continues as the deep palmar arch so this is the deep palmar branch of radial artery which is in the deep palmar arch deep branch of radial artery deep palmar branch of radial artery which is a continuation of a radial artery in the palm so this artery is forming the arch this artery forms the deep palmar arch so deep palmar arch is formed by the deep palmar branch of radial artery so this should be completed by another artery so the artery which is completing this will definitely be the deep palmar branch of ulnar artery so we know that ulnar artery <coughs> divides the pisiform bone into superficial palmar branch which takes part in the formation of superficial palmar arch and another branch is the deep palmar branch of ulnar artery which also contributes <coughs> to the formation which completes the arch so deep palmar branch of radial artery forms the arch it is completed by the deep palmar branch of ulnar artery so this one is the deep palmar branch of <coughs> ulnar artery and this will complete the arch That's about the formation of the arch. So the arch is actually 1.5 cm proximal to the superficial palmar arch. And uh, we'll discuss about the relations. So the relations are relations of the artery and the deep armor arch. So the deep armor arch is like this. So it is deep to the flexor tendons as well as the lumbrical muscles and the oblique head of adductor pollicis muscle. And the only structure which is lying posterior to the deep armor arch are the base of the metacarpals and the inrosia muscle. So the base of metacarpals and the inrosia muscle lie 
we'll see them now on the flexor tendons flexor tendons and uh, lumbricans flexor tendons as well as the lumbricans lie anterior to this arch so anterior relation was formed by the flexor tendons and the lumbricans and also it is deep to the oblique head of adductor pollicis muscle oblique head of adductor pollicis muscle Complicate of adductor pollicis. So, what are the posterior relations? The structures lying posterior to the deep armor arch are the base of metacarpals, metacarpals, and the ingroche muscles. And ingroche. So you can see a structure which is lying in the concavity of the deep armor arch that is a deep branch of ulnar nerve. Deep armor branch of ulnar nerve which is lying within the concavity. Deep branch of armor branch of ulnar nerve which is lying in the concavity. So that's all about the relations of the deep armor arch. Now we will discuss about the branches of the deep armor arch. So branches we will discuss about the branches So this is the arch. So the first one it has got three famar metacarpal arteries. So the three famar metacarpal arteries. Three famar metacarpal artery. Which joins with the which joins with the common palmar digital artery of superficial palmar arch. Common palmar digital artery superficial palmar arch. And it has got another branch. It, is, it has got three perforating branches like this. Three perforating branches. These are the three perforating. This is one branch. Second one. It has got three perforating arteries. These perforating arteries communicates with the dorsal metacarpal artery. Dorsal metacarpal arteries. Dorsal metacarpal artery. And the other branches from the deep armor arch. These branches which goes into the supplying the carpal bones these are the recurrent arteries these are the these two are the rec this is the third branch that is the recurrent band so recurrent artery of the palmar arch so these recurrent artery along with the palmar carpal branches of 
अलनार अंड मीडियल आर्टरी अलॉन्ग विद मीडियम आर्टरी फॉर्म्स द पामार कार्पल आर्च कार्पल आर्च सो इन योर आस्क अबाउट द ब्रांचेस ऑफ द डी पामार इट इंक्लूड्स थ्री पामार मेटा कार्पल आर्टरी three perforating artery and recurrent arteries so these three are the branches of deep palmar arch so that's all about deep palmar arch now we will discuss few questions from this part first question is true about deep palmar arch first of all main contribution is by the ulnar artery that is wrong because the main contribution to the deep palmar arch is the radial artery then next option lies superficial to the lumbricals so you know that being deep palmar arch it lies deep to the flexor tendons and lumbricals third option option c gives three perforating branches that option is correct and option d gives four palmar metacarpal artery that is wrong because it gives out three palmar metacarpal artery only so option c gives three perforating artery that is the right answer option c Second question: Region not supplied by the superficial palmar arch. So we have seen that the superficial palmar arch has got three common palmar digital arteries, which supplies the medial three and a half fingers. But the thumb and radial aspect of the index finger is not supplied by the superficial palmar arch. So in the option A, thumb, thumb is not supplied, and option B, index finger. We know that uh, the inner half or medial half of index finger is supplied by the superficial palmar arch so that is not the answer and option c middle finger and option d little finger definitely supplied by superficial palmar arch so only option which is correct is option a thumb option a is the right answer so thank you for watching this video to see more videos on our channel please subscribe our channel thank you